Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a brand new video for you. Today, today we're going to be talking about Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 2. Jesus, that's a mouthful. Let's talk about it right after this. Now, of course, as the title of this video says, this video is spoiler free. I'm not going to be talking about anything too specific because it just dropped. I stayed up all night to watch it, so that's why this is going up so early. So I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. I'm just going to talk about the broad overstrokes of the first two, uh, the, these last two episodes, I should say, of season four. Tomorrow, however, I am going to have a spoilers review where we can talk about all the deep dives and all the happenings of these two episodes. But here today, we're going to be talking about the broad overstrokes, some things, but not spoiling anything if you have not seen it. So do not worry there. Now, please do like and subscribe to this channel so we can keep growing out. Now, let's talk about some stranger things. The first batch of season four episodes were some of the best Stranger Things that we've ever gotten, even though everyone was kind of, you know, off doing their own thing. People in Russia, California, Hawkins, you know, there was everyone off doing their own thing, and then they started to come together a little bit towards the end. This kind of feels like, you know, everyone's still coming together and getting ready for the final big battle against Vecna. It's just, it's just so incredible, and the performances, the performance of of everyone has always been good in Stranger Things, but the acting in these final two episodes of season four are off the freaking charts incredible, especially from Sadie Sink. She crushes it. I truly believe she should be nominated for an Emmy when the time comes. Uh, Lucas is just incredible in this final batch of episodes, especially in the finale. He does like, he's always been good in Stranger Things, but he kind of feels like he's kind of forgotten about with, you know, Mike and Dustin kind of taking the shine. He really stands out in this final episode. His acting's off the freaking charts, and I really want him to play Miles Morales if we get that character in the near future in the MCU. The guy that plays Eddie's also incredible in this final batch of episodes. He's so damn good. What a breath of fresh air on the show not that it needed a breath of fresh air because season three was incredible but eddie's such a great new character and it's pretty rare that in a fourth season a show's still giving you characters that are new and that you care about and aren't just there for cannon farter and speaking cannon farter cannon fodder geez you can tell i'm tired and i'm not editing this out either i'm too tired for any of that editing nonsense so don't even ask me about that speaking of new characters argyle is also really cool and kind of does some important stuff in this final batch of episodes. In the first batch, he was cool, he was funny, but he was more or less the comic relief character that hangs out with Jonathan. In this one, he does get to do some actually cool, important, and helpful stuff. Speaking of Jonathan, he's kind of felt forgotten about big time this season, just getting stoned off in the corner. Uh, him and Will have an incredible scene. I can't remember which episode it was, whether it was the, I think it was the finale, but just an incredible scene, which provided some great acting from uh, Noah Schneider who plays Will as well. Just some great stuff in that scene. You'll know the scene I'm talking about as soon as you watch the show. Uh, Robin, Steve, Nancy, they do incredible stuff as well, and they really up the horror in this final batch of episodes. Of course, earlier in the season, in fact, that gets introduced, you really get some Nightmare and Elm Street-esque vibes, but this one, they crank it to 11, no pun intended, and just Vecna goes full Freddy Krueger, Hellraiser, Pinhead in this, especially in the finale. Like, you see a ton of creepy Vecna stuff, tons of the upside down, tons of action, tons of scares, tons of great acting. I can't get over how good Stranger Things Season 4 has been, both Volumes 1 and 2, with 2 even just taking it up a freaking notch. The stuff in Russia really picked up. That was, I love that Hopper was back, but that was the one part of Volume 1 where I was like, okay, like, can we speed this up a little bit and, uh, like, let's get Hopper back. This really cranks it up, and you get to see some awesome stuff from Hopper, some awesome action scenes, which gets you even more excited for that upcoming David Harbour action film later this year. This last volume of season four really solidified that Stranger Things is one of my favorite shows of all time and that the Duffer Brothers need to direct a Nightmare on Elm Street reboot. I'm going to give Stranger Things season four volume two a 9.5 out of 10. It's just so damn good. It leaves us in an incredible place, a kind of devastating place heading 
into the final season of Stranger Things, which is hard to say, because, man, I love this show so much. This season was absolutely the Empire Strikes Back or, like, Avengers Infinity War of Stranger Things, and Season is gonna be the endgame. So let me know what you thought down in the comments below of Stranger Things Season 4. We could talk about Volume 1 as well. Do you think the actors deserve some Emmys? Where do you think Season Five's going? Without spoiling too much, we could save the spoilery stuff for tomorrow, a spoiler review, but let me know what you think of Stranger Things Volume 2 down in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so we can keep growing and getting closer to 200 subscribers. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys right here next time.